Tony Blair is Labour's most successful leader, three times elected Prime Minister, and he tore into the current leadership, blaming Jeremy Corbyn for the party's election defeat. The takeover of the Labour Party by the far left turned it into a glorified protest movement with cult trimmings, utterly incapable of being a credible government. Any fool can promise everything for free, but the people weren't fooled. The Labour Party is presently, today, marooned on Fantasy Island. It wouldn't be enough just to replace Jeremy Corbyn, Tony Blair argues. The entire ideology and manifesto have to be scrapped. How difficult will it be to change the Corbynite core of the Labour Party now? And what kind of leader would you like to see replacing Jeremy Corbyn? You know, the person that is going to lead the Labour Party back to power is a person that recognises the scale of this defeat, learns the true lessons of it, doesn't hide from those lessons because it was the rejection of a set of ideas and not just of, a, of an individual. Could Shadow Foreign Secretary Emily Thornbury fit that description? Today she announced she's running to be the new party leader, urging Labour not to be distracted by internal arguments. Other possible leadership contenders appear to reject Tony Blair's intervention. And what I'm concerned about in the aftermath of this election is that we oversteer and lurch to a different position. We need to listen fundamentally though, uh, not to politicians from the past, but to the people who chose not to vote for us this time. A new dawn has broken, has it not? Tony Blair earned his place in political history. Today he's been warning that Labour could become a party of the past. Angus Walker, ITV News, Westminster.